Good evening. The 15-storey residential tower block in Newcastle has been demolished in the first controlled explosion in the city since Sir Bobby Robson brought down the old Newcastle breweries in 2008. The building in Walker has been empty for several years, as Molly Sharples reports. Hexham House has stood in Walker for 56 years, but it took just seconds for it to fall. Bringing this tower block down is part of the council's regeneration plans for the area. What we're planning on doing is building houses in the area uh, because residents have told us, you know, the so 1960s flats, you know, at one time were the fashionable place to be. And unfortunately, this flat just wasn't suitable for that sort of refurbishment. So we'll be having 50 new houses on site. They'll be green. Uh, there'll be lots of green space around them. They'll be affordable. And people will have their own front door, a little garden. So it'll be lovely for the area. The last explosion in Newcastle took place in 2008, when Sir Bobby Robson pushed the button to destroy the old Newcastle breweries. In Walker this morning, it was three children who got the demolition underway. It made them fast out. We got a seat and a bunch of drums setting off before, and we kept trying to count how many there actually were because of the smaller ones. They got to do the honours after winning a competition. I, I, I realise because we're going to be a part of like Walker's history. A 200 metre exclusion zone was in place and nearby residents had to leave their homes while the explosion happened. It had been eight months in the planning and it is expected to take several months to clear the site. You can tell by the smile on my face, um, myself and my team over the moon with what had been carried out this morning. Um, Buildings come down as planned, um, very little spillage uh, outside of the site boundary, uh, apart from insulation. Very happy. A momentous moment for the people of Walker, the day Hexham House crumbled to the ground. Molly Sharples, ITV News. A County Durham teenager seriously injured after being hit by a paraglider whilst on holiday in Turkey has arrived back in the northeast. Lily Nickel from Chesley Street arrived at Newcastle Airport by a medical flight this afternoon. The 15-year-old had to undergo surgery in Turkey on her broken back and jaw after a paraglider landed on her as she sat outside of a restaurant three weeks ago. Her mum told our reporter Katie Cole they have lived a nightmare but are glad to be home so Lily can continue her recovery. Welcome home, Lindsay. I know, it's great to be home. Um, just waiting for this day for so long. She's getting better, she's brighter. Still a long way to go, but we're just pleased with home, family and friends. Still got a lot of broken bones, but hopefully they'll heal. And what's the plan now? Um, go and get that fixed and take her home. Uh. A former prison officer in Stockton has been jailed after smuggling drugs into the facility that she worked at. 35-year-old Amy Johnston claimed she had been meeting with unknown men who had given her parcels to smuggle into home health prison. She admitted to detectives that she'd taken tablets into the prison on two separate occasions. Johnston was sentenced to 12 months in prison at Teesside Magistrates Court yesterday. Pet Shop Boy singer Neil Tennant has shared his sadness on social media that a Newcastle music store has closed after more than 100 years. The North Shield star said he would visit JJ Windows in Newcastle Central Arcade after school as a teenager and that the shop would be missed. The company, which has made 17 staff redundant, says it could no longer compete with larger online retailers. Liquidators are involved in dissolving the business. And finally this evening, as we are on air, hundreds have gathered in Newcastle for a Reclaim the Night march, protesting against violence against women and girls. It follows recent high-profile cases of attacks on women in our region. Those taking part said women should be able to walk around at night without fearing for their safety. Northumbria's Police and Crime Commissioner Susan Dunworth has been addressing people in Baltic Square with a spoken word poem, as well as North East Mayor Kim McGuinness, who said significant changes need to be made to stop gender-based violence. Well, that's all from the newsroom this evening. We're back again tomorrow night at quarter to seven. Emma will take you through the weather forecast next. But have a lovely night. Bye-bye.